Hey, my stat stars, Michael Princhak here. Welcome to a video on measures of center. Now, there are two measures that we use to look at the center of a set of quantitative data, and those two measures are, of course, the mean and the median. Now, they both represent the center of quantitative data, but how they represent that center is actually very, very different. So let's first talk about the median. The median of a data set is the center value, the value that's dead in the middle of the values. Now, the median actually doesn't even care what the values are. It just wants to be the value that's in the middle, 50% below it, 50% above it. That's it. Now, there unfortunately is no formula where you can enter in the values of a data set and out comes the median. But again, remember the median actually doesn't even care what the values of the data set are. It just wants to be the value that is in the middle. Now, there is a formula that can help us find the location of the median, not the median itself, the location of the median. And that formula is n plus 1 divided by 2. So for example, if you have 20 pieces of data in a sample of data, 20 plus 1 is 21, divided by 2 is 10 and a half. Now you might be like, what? There is no 10 point fifth value of my data. I got a tenth value. I got eleventh value in order. Again, of course, the data values have to be in order, but there is no ten point fifth value. Well, that's exactly the point. It is the center of the data, and when you have 20 pieces of data, the center of your data is the value that's right in between the tenth and the eleventh value. So all you got to do is average those middle two values. So take the tenth value and the eleventh value, add them together, and divide by two, and you'll find your median. Now, if you have 21 pieces of data in your data set, Set, then following my formula to find the location of the median, 21 plus 1 is 22, divided by 2 is 11. That means the median is the 11th value in your data set when that data is put into order. Now, you can also use technology. You can enter in all your data into a website or some type of calculator, and you can easily get the median. But understand that the median represents the middle of the data is super important. Now, the second value that measures the center of quantitative data is, of course, the mean. Everybody knows how to find the mean. Everybody knows how to find the average. You simply add all of your data values together and divide by how many data values you have. Now, the cool thing is that the mean and the median are very different. Yeah, I think it's kind of cool. The idea is that the median, remember I said, doesn't care what the actual values are, where the mean does. In fact, every single individual value does go into finding the mean, which means, well, different word mean there, but which means that every value affects the mean. So if we have outliers in our data, they are going to affect the mean. An outlier on the high side of our data or to the extreme right is going to pull the mean higher or towards it because it weighs more. That one value that's really, really high might weigh just as much as a bunch of other of the smaller values. Or on the other side of things, if the value is on the low side, a low outlier to the left, then the mean is going to be affected and moved towards the left or lower. Now, the median does not get impacted by those outliers. Because remember, the median just wants to be in the middle. So if there is an outlier on the high side, maybe it's 10, 20, 30, 100, or a million, it actually doesn't even matter because the median just looking over there and it's like, I don't care how far away you are above or below, it doesn't really matter to me. I just want to be in the middle. It doesn't actually matter how far that outlier is away. So outliers do not affect the median where outliers definitely affect the mean. Now, the other thing that can affect the mean and the median is the shape of your data. When your data is nice and symmetric, the mean and median are very close together. Now, they might not ever be exactly the same, but if the closer they are together or when the mean and median are very, very close, that is a sign that your data is very symmetric. And the closer they are together, the more symmetric your data is. Now, when your data is skewed left or skewed right, that does impact the mean. And just remember, the mean always moves towards that skewness. So if your data is skewed to the right, then the mean is going to get pulled a little bit to the right, and the mean will be higher than the median, or the median will be lower than the mean, however you want to look at it through this perspective. Now, same thing if your data is skewed to left. When your data is skewed to the left, the mean is going to go to the left, or the mean is going to go down a little bit, and therefore the mean is going to be lower than the median, or again, the median will be higher than the mean. So the further apart your mean and median are from each other, the more skewed your data is. So if the mean is way higher than the median, then your data is going to be even more skewed to the right, or vice versa. If it was lower than the mean, then it would be skewed to the left. Now, 
Understanding that concept is actually, I don't want to say all that matters, but in terms of what's going to be on the AP test, that concept right there of how the mean and median compare is a really important concept that is probably going to be asked of you somehow, some way on the multiple choice and also perhaps on an FRQ. So all you need to understand is that when your data is nice and symmetric, the mean and the median are going to be really close together. And when you're skewed left or skewed right, the mean is going to either go higher when you're skewed right or lower when you're skewed left. That is a big concept that you need to understand. Now, the final question a lot of kids have is, OK, there's two different measures of center. I understand both of them, but how or which one do I actually use? Well, again, that comes down to your shape. When your data is nice and symmetric, we would prefer to use the mean. In fact, the mean actually is the preferred measure of center that we would always like to use. But because of the fact that the mean gets impacted by outliers and skewness, we might not always best recommend using it. So again, if your data is nice and symmetric, please use the mean to describe the center of the data. But if your data is skewed left or skewed right or has major outliers on one side or the other, I would definitely recommend using the median because the median is going to be more truth, truthful to what the center of the data is because it's not impacted by that skewness or outliers. And when it comes to the median, median, that's really all that you kind of need to understand. Typically, technology can help us find that mean or the median. And listen, the AP test is not designed to actually have you do a lot of calculations in terms of finding means and finding medians of your data. It's really more focused on the understanding of the concepts that go into how these two values relate to each other. So when it comes to measure of center, don't forget we've got two values, mean and median and know how, what they are and how to find them, whether you have a data set or you have a graph in front of you. So if you just have a histogram in front of you and you see that it's symmetric, just know that the mean and median are going to be right smack dab in the middle, probably together, very close to each other. And if your data is skewed to the right, it's really important that you know that the mean is going to be higher than the median. Now, don't forget, the only formula to find the mean is to add them all together and divide by the number that you have. That's it. And there is no formula to find the median. You have to use our formula n plus 1 divided by 2 to find the location of the median, not the actual median itself. You have to go and find that location to approximate what the median is. All right, that's it for mean and median. Not too bad. Nice, simple topic when it comes to measures of center.